Y'all let me know what y'all think. No way. You're supposed to, you're supposed to believe in God. You're supposed to do everything you do to, to, to make sure you, you worship I... worship God and worship Jesus. You know who do that the most? Poor people. You've never heard anybody <laughs> pray more. You never heard anybody wish God wish to God and pray to God and do anything more than people that don't want to fucking do anything. <laughs> the people that pray to God the most is the laziest motherfuckers because God is telling them, hey, I fuck with you. I fuck with you. All I want you to do is just leave the house. Just leave the house. Maybe, you know, that thing your friend called you about and it was like, bro, this might be a good opportunity. And he was like, no, nah, I'm gonna pray on it. I fuck with that. I fuck with you having the faith, but I needed you to go to that thing. <laughs> Let's stop for a second. Let's stop for a second. What did he just say? Who are the people who pray the most and are the most faithful? They say, they say poor people. Now, that's not true, now is it? But who are the people you normally hear saying, oh, you need to pray and you don't make sure you don't give yourself over to the devil and make sure this is people who are broke. People who have nothing going on in their lives, people who are losers, right? All the people I hear the most, I used to say that same stuff. I really used to think this, people. I used to think that the reason I'm not successful is because I'm not willing to do certain things. You know what? Because I believe in God and that's why I can't succeed. I, I tell you, I swear it. That's what I used to believe. Like, damn it. The only reason I'm not out there in Hollywood and L.A. or I'm not being this big actor. And the reason people don't think I'm funny is because I didn't give my soul over to the devil. That's it. That's literally what it is. It's because I worship God. And all of us people who worship God, we're supposed to be broke. It is what it is. You know, so if you see somebody succeeding, it's because they, they, they're clearly Satanists. <laughs> God is like, oh my God, this nigga. Did... Come on, bro, just leave the house. <laughs> my face is stuck in the house. My face is in the house. Like, nah, bro, God, God got me. You know what? I did all the way up until that. Please. What else can I put in place to get this motherfucker out the house? All the people they say worship the devil, uh, win awards, and then uh, the first person they think is God. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's cracking me up because it is true. It's like, man, he 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 loves Satan. He would never say Jesus' name. Have y'all ever heard that growing up? I'm from the Bible, but did y'all ever hear that growing up? Oh, you know what it is? You know, if they were really if they really love God, they they would say Jesus' name. And then you get somebody who gets on TV and is like, oh yeah, I would like to thank Jesus Christ. Um, uh, he's the one who said. And then, and then what do y'all say then? Oh, hey, I mean, uh, I mean, I, but I, exactly. It sounds stupid after a while. It sounds stupid. Get back to it. Oh, I, the shortcuts sometimes hit the YouTube. The first person they think is God. <laughs> first of all, I want to thank God. No, he's, no, he worships the devil. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy to me? The most crazy thing? Um, only black people are in the Illuminati. How the fuck does that? How does that work? Only black people are in the Illuminati. Okay. As, a, as opposed to the literally open devil worshipers. Now we talking about black metal. We talking about fucking uh I can't even. Oh Land Party Studio, thank you for another five. I appreciate it. Bro, when I'm talking about when I'm talking to, like I'm talking about people that literally openly worship the devil. Like and I'm not talking about like the Church of Satan, because that's a completely different thing. The Church of Satan is even 
is even further from the devil. When I tell you that there are people that openly worship the devil that don't get put in the Illuminati. Music, like like bands, like full-on metal bands that fucking openly worship the devil don't get put into the Illuminati. But if a nigga is making too much money, yeah, that nigga, that, yeah. Nah, that's the devil. That's the devil doing that. Nah, I know what you did. You sold your soul to the devil. You're making too much money. Because if you can do it, how come I don't have that much money? That's how much faith we got in each other. He's about to go into exactly what I said. He's about to say exactly what I said. Uh, the only reason I, because I, guys, I used to say the same thing. The only reason I'm not successful yet is because I won't give myself to the devil. If 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 it's not that case, why can't I be successful? Why can't I just hop on a track and be like, "Yo, I was spitting bars since I was six, and how come I'm not rich yet? How come I'm not wealthy? How, how come I, I'm I'm still a scrub? How come I'm nothing?" And then. It is so crazy because who the hell do you know who is a rich millionaire? Of course, some of you guys know. I got somebody in my family that's a multimillionaire, but I'm not them. I don't talk to them. I knew them when I was growing up and we haven't talked in 10 years. And if I was to see them today, I, it, to, to me, yes, they're a multimillionaire. And I'm talking 100 millionaire, like $350 million. But I, I'm not associated with them. I don't know them. I don't talk to them. I see the money right in front of my face. However, he was very talented. I mean, so talented that he got paid $350 million to do what he does. Right? But it's crazy for me to be like, uh, well, you know what? The only reason he's successful is because he worships Satan. But I grew up with the man. I, I, at no point did I ever see him do that at all. He went to his church. I went to mine. I don't remember at any point him saying, you know what? I give my soul over. And that didn't happen. He just, he's just better at what he does than most people in the world. But because you can't succeed, it's because of that. Where we? That's how much faith we got in each other because niggas would be like, nah, bro, ain't no way. That nigga rhymed words and got money? What? How come I'm not? Oh, because, oh, because I believe in God. He's worshiping the devil, right? That's why. He's worshiping the devil. I can rhyme words too. He's a no, he's a rapper. He's a rapper. He just rhymes words. That's all they do. That's why. That's why niggas really think that we have no value and we would not make it. We would not make any money unless we give our souls to the devil. Nobody thinks that we're actually doing good business deals. Nobody thinks that we're actually coming in contact with people that want to do business with us. We're not getting rich off of anything but the devil. There's no way because if I can, because if T-Pain can get rich off of that bullshit that he was doing, anybody can do auto-tune. I can do it. Why? How come I ain't rich? I'll tell you why. Because I praise the Lord. <laughs> you see how stupid it sounds? T-Pain is famous because... You saw how stupid, you see how stupid it sounds when you really break it down like that? It's like, oh, because I praise God. What if you don't even know anything about him? Not everybody grows up in a Christian household. So what if they become successful not even knowing anything about that religion? So you just immediately say, well, it's because of Satan. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I didn't grow up in a household where we talked about the devil or anything. Man, I grew up watching TikTok dances. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I did something. I saw a cool TikTok dance. I thought I might learn how to dance, got myself in some good ass shape and Hey, I came across the right person, and next thing you know, I was on Good Morning America, and then I turned it into a YouTube channel, and here I am today. Because you know who that happened to? Fredo on TV. Y'all forget Fredo on TV was the dancer? He wasn't on Good, Amer Good Morning America, but he was he was the dancer and a track star. And then he started making videos, and that's how he got big. Is he worshiping the devil? Fredo on TV, he's worshiping the devil, even though he's a talented young man. And that's it? That's all it was? Come on. But oh no, wait, it's because you only have 300 subscribers and you you make the best videos on earth. That's why you're that's why you haven't made it. It's cuz you got to you got to give yourself over. Right? Trust me guys, I used to think the same stuff. My YouTube channel's doing okay. 
But for a long time, I thought, man, I can't make it because I got to come out and say some stupid shit. I have to come out and be like, uh, I love the devil. And my channel's going to blow up. Or I have to get on here and say, hey, guys, uh, I, 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 I'll i do, um, I, I, I'll say something controversial. Women shouldn't vote. Bam, I'm just going to blow up. No. No. Because he praises the devil. I tell you what, if this is how you get rich and famous and, and it works out, fuck, come on over, bro. <laughs> I tell you what, if I'm sitting on my ass and just praying on it, I ain't waiting. I'm not. I, I can't wait on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna wait on it. I'm not gonna wait on it. I tell you what, I, 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 I'm just, no, trust me, bro. God got me, bro. God got me, bro. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna wait on God. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do shit. You just gonna wait on. You can't start this whole fucking global concept that the only reason that black people are successful is if they fucking tell the devil that you can do whatever you want to with my soul. <laughs> but anybody, but any, 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 any country artist, any pop artist, they're just successful because they're successful. And that's just the kind of music that's successful. But any black music that's successful, oh, you, you so, nah. That's not, some, something's weird about that. That's not right. Something, that's. Remember, it, it's not like all of hip hop is just that kind of music, right? The sexy blacks of the world and stuff like this. This is before sexy black was out, but <clears throat> I hear that more too with other artists in the music country. Country people, if a country person is successful, it's immediately, oh, it's because they dedicated their life to Jesus. I heard that with Taylor Swift, the Blake Sheltons, all those dudes. Uh, uh, what's his name? Toby Keith, rest his soul. I believe he's passed away. But all those guys, I, I grew up in the country, Rascal Flat, Sugar Land, all them. Oh, it's because they love God. But anytime somebody else was a, a rapper, and even if he wasn't even talking about doing drugs, even if he'd be just like, you know, I grew up in the hood and I'm trying to make it out. That's all I'm trying to do. Nope, devil. <laughs> nope, got to be the devil. He made it out. He talked about how he went to church and prayed all his life and God finally got him out of that situation. Nope, still devil. They said that about Lecrae. They said that about Trip Lee, Tadashi. Uh, All these Christian rappers who came out, they immediately said uh, Illuminati. Andy Minio, Illuminati. It's like, dang, the, the guys who are saying, hey, you need to get off the drugs and start worshiping Jesus. The devil? It, that's how it made it? The, the devil? <laughs> I don't get it. It's like, oh, man, it's like, what? You, it's like, no matter what people want, no matter what they believe, it's like, I, you could have somebody literally in the church on sitting there giving a sermon <laughs> guys you should really just bring your life to Christ and people are still like no I don't believe it it's like well, what do you want but if he was broke now hold on now if he was broke and he got up there and said I'm broke I got nothing to my name but thank Jesus I'm alive then people are like oh yeah you know he's a godly man but if that same guy gets up there Man, I just made my first million and just, you know, that money don't mean nothing to me, but I can help so many people now with these millions and just thank Jesus I'm alive. Devil. That's it. Mm -mm. I don't fuck with that. That's the devil. I know that's the devil. <laughs> my auntie. Oh, yeah, my auntie. Is, my aunt, when I was. When I was I said it's going to go over a lot of people's heads. Absolutely. She's now, my auntie, my auntie, uh, my auntie was super, super Christian. Like when I say super Christian, when I first started trying to promote my music, she owns uh, a hair salon and nail shop. And I was asking her, can I put my poster up? Can I put my poster up in her, in her hair salon? And she said, nope, because if it ain't for God, it ain't for me. And I was like, yes, ma'am. I understand that. I mean... I definitely wasn't that calm about it. I definitely like kicked her glass door in and I was, you know, I was like that. You're my auntie. You know, you know, I'm not like evil. You know, I'm like one of the nicest person in the city. And she said, nope, if it ain't for God, it ain't for me. And I was like, you know what? Fantastic. Um, uh, fast forward to a couple months ago when she fucking came to my house and was like, oh my God. 
It's, it's amazing. And then she riding in my car like the doors open the other. Can let me borrow your car? How do we get? Can we get to? Are you are you, oh, you gonna pay for everybody's dinner? How do you do that? Yeah, no, it's the devil. The devil paid for it. Fuck out of my face. <laughs> I just didn't want to discourage. I don't think she remembers doing that to me. I tried to put my poster up in her fucking hair salon. And she said, if it ain't for God, it ain't for me. And then literally a couple months ago, she was in here asking me how the fuck I got all the shit I got. You don't believe, you don't think God did this for me? You don't think God had anything to do with any of this? Maybe you need to switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. It's like, damn, you don't think God has anything to do with success at all? He can't do anything. As much as people love to say, I love God and he's the best and he can do anything. All things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. We hear that all the time, right? And then the second you get successful, it's like, nah, God wouldn't do this. It's like, he can't do anything. So the only people who can be successful are people who don't go to God. The only reason I can make it in this music is not because of God. What do y'all think about God? Is it like at this point, y'all make it sound like he's a bum. Like nobody can make it with him. Nobody. But people are bitter. You know what's so crazy? Is this isn't new. It's not like. <laughs> And if you did read the Bible or whatever you do read, you heard stories of people who got jealous of other people. Did we not see that happen with Cain and Abel? Didn't 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 though another brother who got jealous killed his brother? You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh no, how could he be? God is this and God is that, and we say that same thing, man. Except for today, we don't do that. We don't say God made him successful, but why not me? Nope. We go. The devil made him successful. That's why not me. That's all that's happened, guys, is it's just gotten flipped. It's not God made them successful. Why doesn't God love me? It's more the devil made them successful, made them successful and I'm not because God loves me. Y'all see how that stuff gets sneakily put in there? And that's, that's, oh boy, don't get me going, boy. We about to have a sermon up in here. Hallelujah. All right, let's get back to it. I don't know, man. I do be trying, though. I do be trying. I swear to God, I be trying. I swear I be trying, bro. I, I try to... It's hard, dude. It's hard when people... Your own family thinks you... Your own family thinks you worship the devil. Did y'all remember... I, I'm sorry to go right back to the Bible. I'm sorry, but did y'all remember that they said that Jesus himself... Was going against God? Do y'all remember that? Jesus be talking about God, and they and the Pharisees even came out and said that Jesus Himself was against God, and that's when Jesus came and said, "How can the, the how can you uh, how can the devil be divided between himself?" Something in that uh, era, I can't remember exact verse, but it's like, "How can I tell you to go against the devil, but also be worshiped in the devil?" That doesn't make any sense. A kingdom divided it's not a kingdom at all pretty much it's like so you're telling me i i'm telling you about the, the problems with satan but you're saying that i am satan <laughs> it's like or i'm part of that it's like how but see it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's not any different people used to say things about paul peter all of them they're like no these guys worship the devil it's like huh because they've been programmed to see that any success any, any, any. They think you worship the devil. Not, not, think, not worship the devil, but they, they don't think a, they don't think it's that like a holier than thou. They okay. don't think that God had anything to do with my success. That's we. That's crazy. But God, but anything that happens, anything good that happens to them, that's all God. It's all God. But anything good that happens to me, it's the devil. Not Cr the devil. It's not, but it, but it, but. I had to do something crazy in order to get it done. Anything that happens to them out of nowhere, that's God. Anything that happens good to me out of nowhere, what'd you, what'd you do?
I've had my own artist. My own artist. Uh, I had a group. Some people know what I'm talking about, but some people want. Uh, all the groups that I had, they broke up. All the groups that I had signed to me, they broke up. It was nothing that Nappy Boy did. Nothing. The groups that I had, they broke up. Um, sometimes parts of the group that broke up would stay. Jealousy too. They would stay on the shit. They would stay on Nappy Boy. One time, one of the members of the group stayed on Nappy Boy. And... Um, They were they were they were contacted by the parts of the group that broke up that left, and they were like, "Yo, can you come do this thing?" And the person that stayed was like, "Nah, I'm still with pain, and we're gonna do like we're on tour. We can't we can't do anything. We're on tour. I can't just leave tour and just do that shit." And the people that left was like, "Oh, okay, so you want to actively work for the devil then?" What y'all bitches? First of all, <laughs> last time I heard y'all bitches don't like each other. Y'all didn't like each other. That wasn't me. I didn't do. I didn't break y'all up. Oh Lord, you drunk again? Why sway? Why sway is drunk? And I'm like, yeah, I didn't break y'all up. I didn't. I did not break y'all up. Yeah. I don't, yeah. And but they but they they hit. They hit the other group member that stayed, and it was like, oh, so you just want to work with the devil. I spent $3 million on you motherfuckers. I just spent $3 million. I got the paper. I literally had the paper in my hand. Like, I just, I just spent $3 million on you motherfuckers. I'm the devil. Come on, guys. <laughs> I get it. Let me tell y'all just a quick little story, homie. I've had not that exact same thing happen. Nobody called me the devil. <clears throat> but somebody, I was part of a group. If y'all don't know, I was a musician in my past life. Not like a, oh, Lord, but nothing like that. I wasn't a singer. <clears throat> but I was, I was just part of this little bitty band, right? And I was wanting to go places. We were in Houston. And... Was it Houston we went to or Dallas? One of the two. But anyway, man, I, we were really trying. I was like, this really going to work. And I stepped away for a tad bit just to kind of get my mind right, to get prepared for what's coming. And I was, I, I had downloaded this uh, music software, which Band Lab, Cakewalk. And I was like, man, I can actually do a lot of stuff in here. And uh, I told them, I said, yeah, man, I got this new software. We can start working on music. This person went on to say something to the effect of I want to move in another direction and do these things. And what I got out of it was Trey is doing something crazy over here. I want to follow God and do this over here. I had another situation happen. I was dating this girl. These stories will come together. I was dating this girl. She said that if God wanted her to marry me, that I would show up on a New Year's Day and give her a kiss. I showed up on New Year's Day and gave her a kiss. Right? Showed up, gave her a kiss. Her mother said that if God wanted us to be together, she, I would show up in a dream for her. I showed up in that mom's dream. Only for the thing that happened later, the reason that we broke up, because she said that God told her we shouldn't be together. And she literally started dating another guy. And when she got with that other guy, the they got married and the marriage fell apart. You know why it fell apart? Because of God. They weren't supposed to be together. What drives me so nut when it comes to God. Not God, but when it comes to people who use God. Is they just use God to fit whatever narrative they want to. 
she, instead of her saying, I want to marry you, she goes, it was God. Instead of her mother saying that, it was God. Oh, no, nope, never mind. God wants us to break up. Now I'm going to get with this other guy. Oh, didn't work out because of God. It's like, it, damn. Why is God so confused? And I don't remember God. I don't remember the God that I grew up learning about. I don't remember them calling God the author of confusion. Who do they call the author of confusion? The devil. That's what you grew up with in the Bible. But I don't ever remember them saying God will tell you take take the God will tell you to go that way. And then when you get that direction, he's going to tell you to go left. And then you're going to fall off a cliff. You're going to hit the ground, break every bone in your body. And God's got to say, well, you shouldn't have gone left. I told you to go right. It's like, but you said, but you said go right and then go left. And then I fell off a cliff and broke every bone in my body. And now I'm disabled for the rest of my life. I know I told you to go right, then go left. But you need to go right again. <laughs> what? That's not how God works. But people just want it to fit their narrative. It's like when somebody's like, give me an example. Let's say the reason I said those stories came together, by the way, is because she used God to pretty much not let me be in the band. When it was a flat out lie, it was just her being weird because she's been a failure her whole life. No offense towards her, but that's how it was. To this day, you know what? That's a whole different conversation. But nonetheless, it's, it's the same thing we all do. I've done it. When I, I'm going to tell an embarrassing ass story right quick and then we get back to the finish this video. When I was a young man, I wanted to join the military. And obviously I'm fat. And I spent a whole summer losing as much weight as I could. But when I didn't make the weight, guess who I blamed? God. I said, oh, well, it's just because God didn't want me to lose the weight. So wait a minute. God wants you to be unhealthy. God wants you to be overweight. Did God tell you to go eat that cheeseburger? I don't remember that. Ha I don't remember God telling you to eat a whole pizza. I, I don't I don't think that's how it's working. But see, anytime I used to fail in my life, I would say it's God. I, I, I'd be like, it's just God doesn't want me to succeed. It's just God doesn't, God wants me to, I used to literally sit down at night and be like, God just wants me to suffer. I guess this is just my life. I'm just meant to suffer. It's like, or Trey, you put yourself here because you didn't gain skills to make more money. Uh, you put yourself in a situation. Now you're kind of stuck in it. It's like, it, it'd be one thing if like I was doing everything I was supposed to be doing and something doesn't happen. It's like, okay, you know what? God closed that door. But it's another thing if you're like, damn it. My lights got cut off because God is trying to teach me something. Or, motherfucker, you could have went to work, made money, and not spent that money on, and not spent your uh, money that was supposed to keep the lights on. You said you decided to go party with your friends. Maybe that's what happened. I don't think God made you go party with your friends. You were given a job. You made enough money to keep the lights on, and you decided to spend that money on something else. And then when the lights do get cut off, you'd be like, ah, it's God. That's all I'm saying. Uh, people, uh, we're going to put that up here in a second. We're going to talk about that comment section. Give me one second. We'll finish this up. And what they, what they, they hit, they hit the other group member that stayed and it was like, oh, so you just want to work with the devil. I spent $3 million on you motherfuckers. I just spent three me. I got the paper. I literally had the paper in my hand. Like I just, I just spent three million dollars on you motherfuckers. I'm the devil. Come on, guys. I get it. It's so weird. It's a weird dude. It's a weird thing. I definitely have. I definitely had a, re a, a, a recipe. They need an excuse. They need an excuse for their shit. I, and I didn't. I had nothing to do with groups breaking up. Like that wasn't like what? Cause y'all motherfuckers don't like each other. I'm the, I'm the bad person. Y'all stay around each other too much. Did I need not to put y'all in the same house? I bought houses for motherfuckers. I got cars for people. I did everything I was supposed to do as a CEO. And I wasn't, that's the crazy thing. I wasn't even supposed to do any of that shit. I, say, I don't think you were supposed to. I wasn't supposed to do it, but I did it. I got people cars. I got every group separate houses. I got everything. 
I, I'm, and I'm not talking about. And I'm not talking about no. I wish you wouldn't. <laughs> I'm not talking about no bullshit. I'm talking about legit fucking uh, uh, ten thousand square feet houses, Ferraris, Bentleys. I went crazy. It wasn't no bullshit. I got motherfuckers that their dreams. And then when they broke up and motherfuckers left me high and dry with the bill, and then all of a sudden I'm the devil. How the, 